Hey guys, it's PJ again. I'm just going to do a, another video of the rope ring I make to make my tripod. I made another video of it with a smaller set. I'm going to do this one with a, a larger set just to show you this is the same same ring that I used in the other where I twisted it twice. I'm going to show you how I do it twisting one leg once and show you how well it works uh, just to show you how versatile it is in choosing your stuff you don't have to go looking for let me get in the camera here but uh you don't have to go looking for certain size i mean as long as you can get you know you can see how big that is compared to my other video they were fairly small but I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, let's find you three sticks. You can see these are about as tall as me, maybe a little shorter. But the ease of this, you take this, and just slide it over, get them in a bunch. And about anything that will fit in it. Now in my other video, you've seen that I twisted both side legs one time this time I'm just going to twist one of them I'm going to twist it over one time it's a little uneven one but but when you do that it tightens this up really tight so yeah you don't have this one last in between there but you'll see how well this holds. You can see how it tears up the, the bark. Because the key to this, what you want to do, is the same way you twisted this, this one around, you're going to keep going that way, and then you're going to pull this other leg the same direction. So they're both coming like out like this. And that's just going to tighten it down even further. So when you get your tripod, Put it where you want it and just cross it. And you can see, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall apart. See, and that's stout. Now, my little loop that I put on there before, when you get that high, you have to add a little bit. So, I've got about a two foot piece of line. It's just got two bowline knots on each end of it. And what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to slip that over there. And I know I'm going to have to shorten it because that's a little long. So I'll twist it a few times. Then I'll take my pot, put it on my adjusted pot hanger, hanger which has got some seven notches in it and a pot hanging notch. I'm gonna slide it through the other bow line and just hang it on there. And then you can adjust this, take it down about where you want it. Or you can just grab that and spin it. You get it? You wanna pull it up, just pull it up and adjust it. Or you can lower it down like that a little if you want. And raise it up a little if you want. Just like that. And there again, it's sturdy. Really simple. Pretty quick. Now if you want this back, take this off. Put it in your pocket and just untwist your line and that comes right off. How easy it is to put it back up like that. Twist it once. Continue on three. You can see how tight it's getting. You gotta work to get it past the 
again. Once you get it past that, it's awesome. Really simple guys hope you enjoyed my video though I mean it ain't much just something simple you don't have to carry around one of those big metal rings or sit there and do a whole bunch of lashings and all of that if you just want to hang a pot now if you want to do a great big tripod you might want to really lash it down but I can hang on that that bank line I use is really stout it's really strong and it bites into the wood, so it's not going anywhere. The tighter you get it, the better it is. And uh, I've tried to break it by twisting a lot, and <laughs> I haven't broke it yet. So I'm sure I could if I really wanted to, but it usually twists on around. But really simple, guys. I'll keep it short and let you go. But enjoy, guys. Y'all have a good one.